Natalie Roberts, and I am a digital consultant here at Flexware. Today, I would like to do an overview of how we use AI and OCR in the Power Platform to automate a very manual and tedious business process. And so what I'm going to do is we are going to look at this PDF right here, and we're going to see the different fields that the AI captures, what it does with that data, and how it moves the data around. So on this PDF that I have pulled up, we can see on the first line right here, we want to capture the shipment number. We would also like to capture the date, the set point, the actual number, the driver's name, and driver's license. Currently, how this process works is this document is scanned in, and then from the scan, it is manually keyed in to an online SharePoint library. And right now, uh, with this process being manual, we are, you know, it's spending a lot more time on the, you know, keying in, and, and you're going back and fixing errors that might have been inputted incorrectly, and it's overall just a time-consuming process. And through Power Platform and using Flows, AI, and OCR, we are able to automate this very manual process. So I'm going to go ahead and start this flow that we've created, and it's going to go ahead and process these documents. And we'll go over these folders that are in the top half of the screen here in a second once this flow starts going. Down in this bottom right corner is the online SharePoint library. And once these documents have been processed correctly, they're going to be put into the SharePoint library automatically instead of having to put that in manually. And so we can see that the flow has started here in the bottom left-hand corner. And up in the top right-hand corner, we can see we have a Git document folder we also have a flow review folder and a flow archive folder. So the get document folder, as you can assume, we are retrieving the documents that need to be processed through the flow and through the AI OCR reader. And essentially after it's processed, it will be deleted out of here and then it will be moved into one of two respective folders. If the document, as we can see, there are two documents in this review folder, if the document, we'll go ahead and pull this up. The document is blank or is not, it is missing a few fields, you know, then we don't want to store that data into our SharePoint library because this is an error. We are missing data that we need to gather. And so that is why this document has been removed, has been moved to the review folder. If the document has been processed correctly, it will be moved to the archive folder. Uh, and this is just for a just in case scenario. If something was to get deleted, um, you know, you have this backup folder that has all of these documents that have already been processed. And so that is what this archive folder does. Now, if we go down here, we can see there is a PDF that has been loaded into the SharePoint library automatically. And we can see that it is one of three that should be in there. And the beauty of this is that, you know, it's been checked by our AI. Yeah, here we go, we can see there's more documents. So the beauty of this is that our PDFs have been checked by our AI. And if the confidence score is above 90% and it passes all of these other checks that we have in our flow over here, which we can see it has successfully completed, then once it passes all of those stipulations, it will then be put into the archive folder like we mentioned before, and it will be put automatically into the SharePoint library. And this ensures that we are capturing all the data correctly and that we are saving time and preventing data loss. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull up my email so that we can review the notifications that I'm receiving for these process documents. Now we can see this blank document, which I mentioned before was the first document that was placed into this review folder. We can see an unprocessed document did not contain the shipment number. And that is true for the blank document. It did not have the shipment number. So we moved that into the review folder so that, you know, somebody who is getting these alerts in real time can go back and immediately review that PDF and say, hey, this needs to be fixed and they can fix it in real time instead of waiting till end of month, end of day to go back and correct all those mistakes. And we can also see I received another alert for this PDF right here. It also contains 
the PDF name right there and we can see an unprocessed item needs review. So this could mean, you know, we're missing the date, the name, it doesn't necessarily pertain to the shipment number. It just has told us that the confidence score, it did not pass and we are missing some data and it needs further review. That concludes our little overview for today. Please reach out to Flexware for any other potential questions. We can do a lot with our Microsoft Power Platform and we would love to give you a review um, or view any business processes that might be automated. Uh, we are always here to answer questions. Again, my name is Natalie Roberts and I hope you have a great day.